And he goes out and he delivers a lot right out of that land. You see, whenever that the word of God is delivered and whenever God shows up, God will show out. No matter what people say, no matter what people think. Look in the days of Noah, there was a delivery just as sure as the flood was going to come and just as real as the flood was going to be. There was going to be a God who was going to deliver his people out of their time. There is delivery coming for the people of God and out of Egypt there was a time in which Moses had delivered the children of God God has a deliverance and every time when God shows up he has no problem showing out when God shows up there's a wonderful thing about this thing you find over there in the book of Daniel whenever that Daniel is there in the lion's den and things didn't look so good for Daniel but I want you to know that when God shows up he'll shut the mouth of the lion and he'll stop the, the, them from eating him and from destroying him. He'll come out on the other side just like he said he would. When God shows up, he'll always show out. There's another time. You see, remember the three Hebrew children down there whenever they decided they'd get rid of those troublemakers? You ever been a troublemaker, brother? I'll tell you just as sure as you're preaching the word of God, standing for God, the devil don't like you and just as real as he don't like you, he'll try to destroy you. So he decided he'd throw those three Hebrew children down there in the fire. But he was going to do worse than that. He said, heat her up seven times hotter than she was before and we'll throw them in. And just as sure as he threw them in and the king went by and he looked over into the fiery furnace, he began to see there was four just out there. He said, didn't we throw three in? But he said, there's four men out there in the fire. And he said, one of them looks like the Son of God. Jesus had no problem finding himself in the Old Testament. He's just as real from the beginning in the book of Genesis as he is in the exclamation in the Exodus in Revelation. He's all God. And there we find in this passage of Scripture, Elijah has at a time in his life, whenever that he needs God to show up, I want you to know if there's any way at all that you can understand this Christ of Scripture, you have to see it in the light that it's in. And that is that the man of God said he had done all that he had done. He had said all that he had said. And he had done everything so that God would be exalted. And he said the God that shows out with fire, he said he is the one we'll honor. And he's God. And so God did just exactly what God said he'd do. He told the man of God, not only would he take care of the sacrifice, he burned up the sacrifice. And he burned up the wood and he burned up the stone and he lifted up all the water all the way around. If that's not showing out, I don't know what is. Bless God. He'll show out in your life. He loves his people. He'll show out when you show up. God will do a wonderful thing. It's God's presence. It's obvious when the body of Christ, of Christ works together in unity. That's the first point. If you want God to show up, you got to work in unity. Come in one mind and one accord and and living for the Lord and loving the Lord. You can't come to church growling like a bear dog and expect God to bless you or your church family. You come to the house of God with the heart of God and the soul of God and the fire of God all over you. And when you walk into God's house, you're ready to have church. I'll tell you, God can do a wonderful thing. It's obvious when the body is in unity, but it's obvious when many voices bring one message. There's only one message. The only message in this world is that Jesus Christ is the answer. He said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. I'll tell you, there's no other answer in all this world than Jesus Christ. He is the answer. He's the answer for all the lost men, women, boys and girls. He's the answer for our country. He's the answer for our nation. He's the answer for all worldwide problems. He's the answer for all pollution. He's the answer for all sin. He's still God and when God shows up God will show out he's God his presence is obvious when his people begin to sacrifice brother you know something or another we don't like the word sacrifice in most of our churches but Jesus said if you want to live for me 
Take up your cross and follow me. Sometimes it's not easy. I can imagine this man of God, Elijah, as he began to stand against the 450 prophets of Baal and all that he's seen out there was not a friendly face in the crowd. He didn't see anyone praying for him. He didn't see anyone shouting about what was going on. He only seen the prophets of Baal and he's seen all the obstacles that were out there. And just as sure as the obstacles were out there, he didn't get his eyes on to them. He got his eyes on to God. And he looked up to heaven and he seen God in all of his glory and when God came down and did all that he did he said praise be unto God thank God for showing up thank God for showing up in our families thank God for showing up in our churches thank God for showing up in our services thank God when he comes along and he blesses your heart and blesses your life when you thank God I'll tell you he'll show out he'll show out a little bit for you you know what he'll do for a lost person when God shows up he'll save them whenever he comes to a backslider he'll reclaim them whenever he goes to a home that's hurting that problems in this world is persistent I want you to know when God shows up he'll show out he'll do something wonderful for him just as sure you remember the widow and she had her children one son 